In this episode, we are headed to a mountain lake called Trillium, which is a favorite for fishermen due to its wonderful views of Mount Hood. This lake is easily found off Highway 26, just past Government Camp. It is a 57-acre lake that offers up cutthroat, brook, and rainbow trout, and it's best fished in June and October. For those of you that bring a boat, there are two decent-sized boat ramps found in the drive-in campgrounds. If you don't have a boat, there are plenty of great bank spots within the campgrounds. The far south end, where the dam lies, is where the deepest part of the lake is, which makes this a very popular spot for fishermen. You will also find a few spots in the northwest corner where there are several walk-in campgrounds. Now if you do have a boat, the best bet in the morning is to head to the far north corner where you can anchor up just before the marsh to possibly see a great sunrise. Now it's time to fish. The first method that works well here is to either anchor or still fish using power bait with either yellow or green colors. Try to cast just at the marsh's edge and then the waiting game begins. Keep in mind that there the grass go. here at Trillium is quite long, so try to use a longer leader, say 3 to 5 feet. Personally, I dislike using this method as it's a little bit tricky to release the trout as they always swallow the bait. I will use this method only when I am trying to catch fish for a nice campsite dinner. As you wait for the next bite, you will notice Mount Hood, which is one of the most summited mountains in North America. And the main approach is on this side, which is up through Crater Rock, onto the Hogback, entering through the Pearly Gates. At the base of this mountain is Timberline Lodge, which is a popular hotel and diner offering a great Sunday brunch. While you are here, you'll get closer views of Mount Hood, and on a clear day in the south, Mount Jefferson will lie. You can also get a good upper view of Trillium Lake, and you may even notice the Long Dam, which was built in 1960. Here at Trillium Lake in the middle, just kind of doing a big oval, I guess you can say. It's nice to uh, troll some uh, uh, spoons or spinners or whatever that may look like. Uh, so let's see if this produces any luck today. Really all you do is just kind of cast it way out there. Let it drop. Throw it in your little holder. Trillium is not a deep lake, probably averaging around 10 feet. Now you want to be sure you stay in the middle where the old Mud Creek channel exists. There are no motors allowed, which is good, because a nice easy paddle, twice on each side, gives your boat a nice S-troll, which presents your spoon or spinner at just the right speed for a good hit. Oh, here we go. Woo! Yeah, this is a good spot right, right in the middle. Well, that was fun. <laughs> As you can see, letting the fish go with the spoon or spinner is quite easy, and this method produces results quickly almost every time. Oh, there we go again. Yeah. Now you will notice there's a lot of marsh and our lily pads on the west side of the lake. My dog Cheeto certainly enjoyed trying to track down the ducks as they wobbled themselves through the lily pads. This is a great habitat for fish, which is good for fly fishermen, and even better for the bald eagles in the area that love to hunt the fish from above. Another productive method is to wind drift from the lake while casting spoons, staying generally in the creek channel. This lake can be fished in countless ways using a variety of methods, so keep an eye on the stocking schedules and come in the fall for fewer crowds and bigger fish. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review on Trillium and remember to come on out here and enjoy this beautiful place in Oregon while creating your own second stories.